you know, somebody dealing with a kid having a full-on hissy fit, like, limp noodle thing in the middle of a grocery store aisle, and you just are like, yes, cool, like, I see you, good job, <laughs> like, that's what you should be doing. So I've decided that I'm going to try and do the video with Miss Olive. Hi. <laughs> Can you say hi? I've told her she has to be very quiet. So this could either go well or this could be a terrible mistake. We're gonna see. Good job. We're gonna tackle the two final questions from this Ask a Mama series. The first one comes from Christine and Christine says, I currently use a mixture of rubbing alcohol and water to disinfect my bathroom. Is this as, as environmentally friendly as using vinegar? I want a disinfectant that works well, especially during cold and flu season. Are there safe alternatives to disinfectant? Totally. Um, Christine, what I would suggest for you is to use either hot soapy water or vinegar. The reason I would suggest the hot soapy water is because there was recently a report that came out from the FDA that talked about, it was talking about antibacterial hand soap, so something a little bit different. But basically what it said was that antibacterial hand soaps were no more effective than hot and soapy water at getting rid of germs. Olive, please do not touch that. <laughs> so, antibacterial hand soap, no more effective than hot soapy water at getting rid of germs on the hands. <laughs> I made a terrible mistake. Stick with the hot soapy water and you'll be totally fine. Um, just get a bucket, get a clean cloth, use that to wipe down all those germy surfaces like your doorknobs, faucets, <laughs> countertops. That's your option A. Your option B is to just use plain old vinegar. If you want, you can add a few drops of tea tree essential oil and that'll help with like a disinfecting regime as well. This is more if you like the psychological idea of having a separate spray that's a disinfectant spray. And I get that sometimes you need that. Like I think it's programmed into us that we need a floor cleaner and a countertop cleaner. Thank you. Thank you very much. So if you need a specific spray that says disinfectant, this will be great for you. Vinegar, add some tea tree essential oil, spray it on any surface you want to disinfect, use a, a damp cloth to wipe it off and you're good to go. As far as rubbing alcohol goes, it's not terrible. You know, it's not as high up in the concerns as I would be if you were using bleach or um, like Lysol or something like that. My main concerns with it would be that it comes in a really small quantity. So you're buying small quantities of it in a plastic bottle and then it, it's a little bit more of a concern if this was a terrible mistake <laughs> it's it's more of a concern if a little person got into it so if they took a swig of rubbing alcohol versus taking a swig of white vinegar is a little bit more concerned with the rubbing alcohol corduroy is in your cart the second question comes from Jessica and she asks, what, what is a safe, non-toxic way to keep mold out of my kitchen compost bin? Jessica, good for you for composting. This makes me so happy. The key to this is just to completely wash it out after every time you empty it into your bin outside. It's gross, so this is one time that I do use plastic. I have plastic gloves that I use for gross household jobs. Put on the gloves, give it a thorough cleaning with hot soapy water. You can spray it with vinegar if you want to take down the smell a little bit. If it's sunny where you are, I would just leave it to air dry in the sun too. That'll help. And if you want to, you can sprinkle some baking soda at the bottom, which might help a little bit to keep down odors. It's not going to do a ton because you're keeping, you know, peels and stuff like that in there. So it, it's going to have a little bit of an odor. If you're a one or two person family and you're not emptying it a ton, make sure you're taking it out to the, to the big bin in the backyard at least every second day um, just to prevent it from getting a buildup. And that might be contributing to the mold. But definitely, like, just cleaning it, like, scrubbing it out really well should be enough to keep the mold at bay. Um, using a metal container too, plastic tends to be more porous than metal, so using a metal container will do a lot more to keep the smells down and hopefully keep the mold out as well. Good for you for composting. I'm happy that you are, and I hope that this mold situation gets under control. Thanks, Jessica, and thanks, Christine, and thank you, Beth, and I hope you got something good out of this. My God.